Uh, Layla, let me start with you. I feel like even last year, a lot of my questions started with, hey, this time last year, but dealing with this team last year, you had um, uh, the game that did not go well. Um, how much of that was a factor going into this game? I see Jayla already nodding. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and how, how, I mean, you had a big night tonight. You lit it up in the third quarter. H how big a game was this for you? How good was it to kind of get that payback? Oh, so, so good. Like, if you look at the box score from last year's game to this year's game, you see a big difference. And mm -hmm. just like, um, man, just, I think we came in ready. We knew like what happened last year. So we had, we really came in with a chip on our shoulder and we was ready to go. And I think we showed that tonight. Jayla, I, I, you know, I've been looking forward to talking to you. The, the post player always gets my attention. You know, <laughs> there was a lot of physical play tonight. You were a big part of it. There was a noticeable difference when you weren't on the floor. And I talked to Coach before uh, you came in. She said they were kind of coming after you to try to get in your head a little bit. Did you feel like that was what was happening and what kind of kept you focused? Um, I felt like maybe they was trying, but I mean, for me, I'm gonna defend myself. I'm gonna defend my teammates. Like nobody gonna walk over me, none of that. So yeah, I just wasn't going for it. And I knew I had to keep that energy. Can't, you know, I had you know tech, but I think that did turn us up, but I had to know after that I had to play smart because um, my team needed me in the game. But that was my goal, energy, physicality, and I think I did good with that tonight. And, and if you look at the sheets where, with the rebound count, I, I know um, that they won the rebounds, but I feel like there was a particular um, exchange where they took five shots, they got some second chance, well, they got up to I think like a fourth or fifth a chance, and they still didn't score. Mm -hmm. So obviously you don't want that many offensive rebounds, but what does that say about your team as a defense? Both of you can answer this, by the way, but like, what does that say about your defense tonight and how you kind of stepped up to get the game done? Um. Well, I'll take it first. I think that uh, we've really uh, emphasized defense in practice. And regardless if we box out or not, we know we have to um, stick to our principles. So I think we really followed the game plan tonight. And, you know, even if we missed some rebounds, we still played hard. So I think that we uh, we really followed the game plan tonight and trusted our coaches. So. Yeah, just picking it back off of that, like, play with heart. No matter what happened, like we said at the beginning of the game, we're going to stick together no matter what. Uh, our game plan was clog the paint. So they got rebounds, okay, back in the paint. And I think we just kept playing, kept going, kept fighting. <laughs> Coach talked about physicality and defense. She also talked about having fun on the court, both of you showing a lot of energy. What does that really provide as like a spark? Um, Energy, we talk about that every single day, bring energy, be a self-starter. So that was my main thing today. If my offense wasn't going, okay, I'm going to still bring energy on defense, going to hype my teammates up, going to get them open looks, set good screens. And I think that just, you know, we're really infectious with the whole team. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I think um, we were really picking one another up, and I think that showed, like, just throughout our play. Um, showed that we had really great chemistry. We was moving the ball. You know, even if things didn't go our way, we stuck together. We didn't argue, mm -hmm. and we just got it back, so. Yeah. Um, you can go ahead. Sorry. Jayla, this is also not an uncommon opponent for you. You were playing them in the SEC. Is it is it a little bit more knowing that this is a team that you've played a lot? Yeah, I you know I wasn't here last year, but I knew this was a big game for the team. So it was a big game for me. You know, I'm part of this team, and I want us to win just as bad as anybody else. Um, so you know, as you said, they were a common opponent. I'm familiar with them, so I was going at them head on. You know, I play them every year. <laughs> I have a question for both of you. You can each answer whenever you want. Um, this is outside maybe the game moves and everything. My question is, how important is the support of the students for you guys, for you as a players? How important is the win you said? Like the support of the, the students. The support? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, um, I, oh, man, Night Nation really showed <laughs> out tonight. I can't lie. Like. You know, we went on runs and the entire arena erupted. I think um, that was great for our, you know, just our team. Like, just to keep the energy up, I think that was great. I really appreciate that they came out, so. Yeah, bad plays, good plays. They picked us up. They was right there with us. They kept that energy. The more hype we got, the more hype they got. And we love that. Like, we want them to come to every game. You know, we're going to be playing hard, putting on a show. So, we love the support. We really appreciate it. You as a players, how your performance gets affected by the students' attendance or the student support, especially from your university here in Orlando? Um, so, you know, Coach Messer really talks about us being self-starters. So even if we didn't have them there, we would try to keep the same energy. But, you know, having them here, having them here really helps. So. Yeah. yeah, having a crowd is like having a sixth player, really. Yeah. It just gives you that extra boost. Thank you so much, guys. Of course. Okay, so with that in mind, um, 
got the wind under your belt here. Got you know that was the goal, obviously. But heading into the tournament coming up, what kind of opportunity do you think this is for you guys to kind of get better as a team over the tournament here? Um, you know, I think it's just seeing different teams, uh, doing different game plans, just uh, working on um, you know trusting the coaches and trusting that they know exactly what they're talking about. They watch the film, so I just think that. Um, you know, with different teams and different players, like we can just learn a lot um, from the different defenses that our coaches are asking us to play. So I think we can grow a lot through this tournament for sure. Yeah, and I think um, just the experience that we're going to play against, that'll really help us uh, for the Big 12. Um, and I think this is going to be a really big tournament. This is going to say a lot about how the, you know, the year goes for us. We got to come out, you know, compete. That's our main thing, compete every single game. Layla, there was something I want to ask you about, too, really quick, as far as, you know, development and, and getting better. Coach said something that you had told her on the sideline today that even knocked me over as somebody who's covered, you know, this team since you were a younger player. She had said something to her about, Coach, run this play for me, which is not very Layla-esque for those of us who have been following you for a while. What's different about Layla now that you have that communication with Coach when you call for it like that? I believe in myself so much more you know my confidence is really up there so um I think it's all because how I prepared myself I really grinded over the center, summer really grinded now um you know my teammates they know that I work out so I think they trust me to run which play that I would like to, to run if I think that I can you know get a point or score out of it and I think that coach Messer trusts me as well so I appreciate her trust and letting me do that so and and Jill as an experienced player you're new here but what do you think stateswoman Layla brings to uh, the team as leadership? Yeah, Layla, as you said right there, she's a leader. You know, if she's having an off day, great day, whatever, she's going to pick up the team. She's going to be right there with you, high five you, all of that. And you can see that in the game, you know, going to coach match and say, hey, give me the ball. I'm going to do this. We completely trust her. Like, we know, like, miss, make, whatever, we're going to go to you because, you know, she puts in the hours, puts in the work. So, yeah, props to Layla. I have another question for both of you. How does it feel to have won the past three games, especially now that you joined the Big 12 guys? Yeah, it feels really good, you know, to start off the season like this. Um, I think it's always good to start off with wins and keep it rolling. Um, we're really excited. We put in the work, and especially after the last game, we didn't perform how we wanted to. So to come out here and win this was really big for us. Yeah, I I'd agree with that. I think, um, you know, nobody wants to lose, obviously, but... <laughs> You know, starting off this way is pretty good, um, just taking us into our next game, so. Thank you. Of course. Thanksgiving week, uh, what are you guys thankful for? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thankful for my family, for this team, um, just the opportunity to be here, my health, you know, waking up every day. Um, that's what I'm thankful for. Dang. Okay, yeah. Okay, I was going to say that. <laughs> Literally to the T, but um, yeah, no, definitely my family, just the opportunity to play. Um, you know, an opportunity to be at UCF. I love this school, so mm -hmm. I, I really, th I'm really thankful for that. You know, thankful that I woke up this morning. Thankful that I'm in also in good health. Um, I'm just thankful that God gave me this talent and that, that I was able to show it tonight. So, okay. thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.